Hey everybody, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. I am here in my kitchen doing one of the most requested videos that I get, which is sort of a recipe video. I'm not cooking today, but what I am going to do is update a video that I did probably two years ago, which explains how I make my coffee. Now, it used to be that I would go to the store and get those creamers that are full of sugar and all those other chemicals that I don't really know what they are. When I started Trim Healthy Mama and my new way of eating and cutting out sugar and trying to eliminate a lot of those unhealthy chemicals, I had to find something to do with my coffee because I've never really been the type of person who can just drink black coffee. Now, I have gotten to the point these days where I can drink coffee with just heavy cream in it and no sweetener if there is nothing else available, but if I have my choice, I would much rather have a nice creamy, um, slightly sweet coffee that just tastes like something you would get at Starbucks but is so much better for you. So I've changed the way that I make my coffee over the years um, and if you can hear my rooster in the background I have the doors and windows open because it's such a nice day here so you'll just have to forgive that I do live in the country and have a few animals. So anyway um, I'm gonna make two different variations of the coffee today one hot and one cold because we are going into spring and then summer will be shortly after and I do not like to drink hot coffee if it's hot outside so I'm gonna show you both versions they're pretty similar as far as ingredients go they're pretty similar as far as ingredients go but there's just a little bit of difference and I'll show you that so to get started let's look at the ingredients so here I have assembled um, all of my ingredients for you. The first thing that you need to know that you're going to need is a blender. This is one that I bought at Aldi's last week. I posted a video which I will link in the description box. You know how Aldi's is. They'll have something one day when they sell out they won't have it again. But this is a little personal size blender. Um, any blender will do. You can also use um, one of the little handheld submersive you know coffee thingies I don't know what they're called but anyway this is what I'm going to be using and it works very well so you're going to need coffee of some sort because so many people have Keurigs that's what I'm going to show you I also have an espresso maker but um, I figured that more of you would have a Keurig than an espresso maker but if you even just have a regular um, coffee pot that will work too you're just going to need a cup of coffee and then I sweeten mine with stevia. Now this is not the brand of stevia that's in this bottle. This is what I used to use. I recently discovered this brand um, and most of these actually all of these ingredients with the exception of the vanilla came from Vitacost um, and I'll put a link to that below as well. But um, this stevia is cheaper than the cow and it is organic. Um, certified USDA organic if we can get it to focus there. Um, and I just put it in this dropper bottle because it's easier to just measure out that way. And the next thing on my list is whatever kind of flavoring you like. I personally use the pure bourbon vanilla extract from Trader Joe's. And my next ingredient is collagen. Uh, collagen is a very interesting ingredient and it has a lot of health benefits. I'll put a link below in the description box if you want to read some more on that. There's a really good article by Dr. Axe, but just some of the things going over it really quickly. Um, and things that I have noticed myself especially is improvements in my hair and my skin. Um, it helps to repair your joints because, you know, we're, our body naturally makes collagen, but as we get older, um, the production decreases. So we kind of have to help it out a little bit. If you look on the back here, you can see a list of all the different amino acids that collagen contains. Our bodies make amino acids, but our bodies have a harder time doing that if we're under stress or we're sick. And so many people are chronically stressed um, in our current lifestyle that you know that's a continuous problem so using collagen will help with that next on the list is coconut oil now coconut oil I know a lot of people are familiar with you know some of the benefits of that but I think that sometimes we skip over some of the benefits because they're not as widely known you know we all know about it being antibacterial and antiviral and all of that but um, I found this list on Dr. Axe's website and it has 20 proven coconut oil benefits. And I want to read through those with you just to give you an idea of why I use it. So it helps with Alzheimer's, it helps prevent heart disease and high blood pressure, it helps with UTI and kidney infections, it reduces inflammation and arthritis, it boosts the immune system, it improves memory and brain function. And then the last item is MCT oil and this one is made from coconut oil and it's a little bit different. MCT stands for for medium chain triglycerides as you can see there on the front of the bottle so just to go over real quickly for you for this and why we use this and by the way I don't use this 
and the regular coconut oil in the same drink. We're going to put one in the hot drink and one in the cold. Um, but for the MCT oil, they are digested easily and sent right to your liver where they have a thermogenic effect. If you've ever heard of people taking fat burning supplements when they want to lose weight, MCT oil does the same thing. Um, and it's shown to positively alter your metabolism. They are burned for your body for energy or fuel instead of being stored as fat, so you don't have to worry about that. They are supportive to your digestive environment, especially since they have the capability to combat harmful bacteria, viruses, fungus, and parasites, and they have antioxidant properties as well. That's what's going to help with inflammation, um, anti-aging, all of that. So that's why I use the MCT oil. All right, now that the coffee is brewed, let's go ahead and put it together. So I'm gonna very carefully pour my coffee into my blender container and you see how successful that was. Um, that's why I keep a towel around here. Don't worry about it. That, see, I don't know why. I haven't figured it out. Some mugs pour better than others. But in any case, this is real life people. Not worried about it. So I'm going to start with my collagen. There's really no rhyme or reason as to what order you put these in. I'm just going through it. So I'm just going to use one scoop of that in here. Now, when you use collagen, you want to make sure that you blend it very well because it can get clumpy just like protein powder does if you were to put that in here. Next up, I'm going to sweeten it with my stevia. Remember, that's not this brand in here. I'm using the Now brand, but it doesn't matter. This one's good too. Or whatever brand you like. Whatever sweetener um, you like, put that in there. Um, I use stevia because it's a zero calorie and it comes from a plant. It's not a chemical. Now for the hot coffee, I'm going to use my solid coconut oil. The reason I'm going to do that is because it is going to be able to melt in here, whereas if you put your solid coconut oil in your cold coffee, you're going to have little bits of coconut. I've done that. It's not bad, but um, if you want something, you know, in your cold coffee that is, you know, completely smooth and not like little frozen bits of coconut, then just stick around and see what I use for that. So I'm going to use about, um, I don't know, this might be two teaspoons. I don't measure. I just eyeball it. Put that in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my vanilla. Now what all this is going to do, you could make this without the collagen if you don't have that. If you had um, a protein powder that you could put in there, that will help to emulsify your oils and make it so that you know they're not floating on the top um, but that's the collagen kind of takes that place now back in my previous coffee video I did use um, I did use a whey protein and I also used grass-fed butter I still from time to time will use grass-fed butter but I know there are so many people who are trying to steer away from dairy so that is why I'm using coconut oil in this instead. And honestly, I use that more often myself just because of the health benefits of it. There are benefits to the grass-fed butter, but there are, I don't know, from what it seems like to me, a whole lot more possibly um, of the coconut oil. I could be wrong on that. So if you blend in a container like this, pay attention, you want to shake it and then release the pressure because this is a hot liquid. You don't want this to blow up on you. Um, so just be cautious with this, okay? And don't say that I didn't tell you that. So I just do that three or four times, and I've never had a problem with this. So um, I've shook it now. I'm going to put it in my blender base. All right, so when it's done blending, I want you to check this out. That's why I got a clear coffee mug for you. Look at how creamy this ends up. It even has foam on top. I mean, come on people, this is awesome. Look at that. You can see the foam on the top of this. There's no dairy in this. There's no artificial sweeteners. There's no sugar. There's none of that. It has the health benefits of, you know, helping your joints, helping your hair and nails, making your metabolism go faster to help you lose weight. So many other things, helping your memory and your mind all in this one cup of coffee. This is your hot coffee. So now let's go make the cold one. Okay, so our cold coffee is going to be more like a uh, blended coffee, like a frappuccino type thing. So I'm starting out with my blender pitcher filled, I'd say three-fourths of the way up with ice. You can always add more if you need to. 
And uh, this time, instead of having to wipe up a mess, let's go ahead and just put the towel right underneath it and pour in the hot coffee. Now, the hot coffee is going to melt that ice pretty quickly. Um, so that's why we needed as much as we did. Now this recipe is going to be very similar with just a little bit of things changed. We're going to go ahead and sweeten it with the stevia. This is to taste how much ever you want to use. Um, if there's anything left in this vanilla, I'm going to add it in there. And then for, because I'm making like a frappuccino, I'm going to make mine chocolate flavored. So I am using the organic cacao powder from Vitacost. I'm probably just going to use uh, maybe two teaspoons of this. I am going to use my collagen, so one scoop of that goes right in there. And then instead of using the solid coconut oil, because I do want this to be blended, I'm going to have um, the MCT oil in this. About one to two teaspoons. Like I said, I don't measure that either. I just pour that in, eyeball it, and then we're going to blend. When you can't hear ice cubes flopping around in there anymore, you're done. So look at this. This is, this looks delicious. This looks like something you would get if you went to a restaurant and ordered a coffee. But the thing is you made it at home and you used good ingredients. You didn't use anything artificial. You did not use any chemicals. You did not put any sugar in here. And it has, you know, crazy health benefits for you. So I hope you will give this a try. I hope you will enjoy my coffees. You know, whether it's in the wintertime and I'm drinking one of the hot ones or in the summertime and I'm drinking one of the cold ones, these are awesome. Yes, they take a little more time because it involves a blender and all these ingredients, but once you make this, you will understand why I take the time to do that. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this updated coffee tutorial, recipe, whatever you want to call it. Give it a shot. If you try it out, let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you add anything to it to make it better, I am always open to suggestions. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Share this video with anybody that you know who loves coffee and would like a healthier version. So anyway, that's it guys. Until later, take care. God bless and I'll see you next time. Bye.